And now our tail of the tape for this Bantamweight fight. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Mario Bautista! And now introducing the opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Jose! Ready to fight? Ready. Do it. What a moment for Jose Aldo Jr. here tonight. We'll see if he can come through with yet another seminal moment for his fans around the world. Jose Aldo Jr., center of the octagon here. Oh, nice combination there from the King of Rio, Jose Aldo. He's really had a career renaissance of late, and once again putting it all together in the stand-up tonight. Now going upstairs with the left hook. There's another one. Oh, man. Oh, right hook attempt. No good. Tags him with the overhand. Continuing to go to the head. single collar tie. It's just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. All right, we'll see how Jose Aldo Jr. chooses to proceed, and it looks as though he's going to work off of that jab and low leg kick here early in this one. I mean, ever since Jose Aldo started boxing with the Brazilian Marines, his hands have just gotten so much better. But he is known for the outside leg kick. It's his calling card, and if you're Jose Aldo, you want to fight behind that. Nice punch there. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Slips that left hand. to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Aldo. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Aldo. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Aldo. Wow, huge head kick. Oh, huge right hand right from Jose Aldo. We'll see if he can follow it up here, BC. A lot to like out of what Jose Aldo has done in the stand up here tonight. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, big head kick. Under two minutes now to go in round one. There's that body shot. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Oh, here we go. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's working. High-level guard pass there as he moves into half court. You know the guy's going to his left hook pass, but you cannot stop him. Big, big shots landed by him now. Drop.
Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. The big ground and pound. to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the, the fans came to see them knock each other out, and that's what they're gonna get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John, oh. but ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. Great work, you just won that way. Want to take a deep breath and relax. When we go back out there, the same game plan, but now I want you to use more kicks. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh! All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the water. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Clean punch. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. That'll work nicely left. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Nice jab there. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Nice move this punch. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. A tremendous body kick lands for this guy. Right on the button. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight 10. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And, man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Oh, 
fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. Big right hand there. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps. That comes with taking your time. You get excited and you want to finish with you make it right there. But at times you just overslip and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Out of range with that kick attempt. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on the side of his body. Just mixing everything up there. Finding his target, using his punches, his kicks, and everything else to try to do damage to his opponent's body. I love this game plan. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, and being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Solid punch by him there. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. DC, I'm not sure how he stayed up right. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Big right hand there! All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. I think he's going to set it up again here. I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. Aldo's taking aim at that cut right now and hard to blame him, right? Might as well continue to target that area and see if you might get a referee or even a doctor to intervene here. That's good defense to get that guard up. A oh, little single collar tie there. Blends a switch oh, They're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Well, without much resistance, he continues to find a home for that jab, much like he did in the previous round. Well, that'll quiet the storm shot blocked by Albert. Another straight left. All right, getting late in the fight right now, DC. Dream fight for the fans, maybe not so much for the judges. It's been back and forth. It's been so close. I would not want to be sitting at the judges' table right now. I don't know who's winning this fight. So under three minutes to go here in the fight. And he lands that sidekick. All right, we'll see if he has any response. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I can't. Shots raining down. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Alba. Now he's going full mount. 
Burrow's looking for that arm triangle. Oh, he's got that submission tight now. Get a hand inside and hold it down. He's working very hard to try to get the sub. The arm triangle is getting very close. What he's got to do now is get to the opposite side of the body. He's got to get his body on the side of the lock and get the finish. Oh, gives up on the submission now. Well, he had it tight, John, but then this man is landing brutal ground and pound. How do you get out of harm's way? Here I mean, you got to shove that knee, John. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing that, hey, this is my path. It's working. I'm going to stay on. Changing the position. Beautiful ground strikes landed. He's going after that cut over and over again, and every time he lands, the cut gets worse. Throwing that jab, no good. Drives the shit into the rim. Great body kick. You know, when guys start to tell you, kick me here again, they start the posture that means that what you're doing is actually taking effect on Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency. Oh! oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. Perhaps just looking to recover. Solid punch from the clinch here. His nose is all crooked. It's all beat up. It's bleeding. Oh, all right, well, the ref's going to step in here. He has done a job on his nose. You see what I did there? Nose shot. <laughs> but, John, it's a bloody nose. We've all had bloody noses. We got bloody noses in our first fight at seven years old. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll let him keep fighting. Crowd wants the fight to continue, and it looks as though it will, but maybe stylistically might have to change some things and get aggressive because that cut's not getting any better. That cut is only Very going tight. to get worse. Every time you get hit in it, it just gets worse and worse. He's going to have to take some chances, try to end this fight right now. Oh, nice kick. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Make him think you're going low and then come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. For decision. All three judges scored this contest for the 9-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Jose Aldo Jr. All right, Jose Aldo goes to the scorecards, but gets it done by decision and didn't force the finish tonight. It didn't materialize, and as you always tell me, that's okay. It's okay. It's okay to just win. It's not like he wasn't trying to finish, but sometimes your opponent is just that good. Jose Aldo strapped in. He settled in. 